Hello and welcome to the fake news debunker of the West Africa Broadcast and Media Academy, WABMA. WABMA is a professional media training institute and a finishing school for aspiring and current media practitioners offering short and long-term certificate courses at the basic, intermediate and advanced levels with campuses in Enugu, Lagos, Abuja and online. First up, did the Nigerian army take responsibility for bombing of Kaduna villages? News outlets reported that the Nigerian army has claimed responsibility for the recent bombing of some villages in Kaduna. The claim is true. An airstrike on Sunday, 3rd December 2023 accidentally hit civilians during a religious celebration at Tudunbiri, Kaduna. The casualties are still being accounted for as the occurrence has generated lots of conversations with many blaming the army for the losses. The force in a tweet thread had explained the cause and involvement of the army in the incident. The Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Taurid Labaja during a condolence visit said that the general area of Tudunbiri and adjoining villages were infested with armed bandits who terrorized the communities in times past until troops of the Nigerian army started conducting operations to sanitize the area and make it habitable. He pointed out that the troops were carrying out aerial patrols when they observed a group of people and wrongly analyzed and misinterpreted their pattern of activities to be similar to that of the bandits before the drone strike. The chief of army staff equally visited affected victims at the Baura Diko Teaching Hospital and Guan Rimi Kaduna where he expressed concern for the speedy recuperation of the hospitalized persons and made an immediate donation of several provisions for their upkeep. Conclusion, the claim that Nigerian army took responsibility for bombing of villages in Kaduna is true. Next, has Bishop Oyedepo's son started his ministry? News broke out recently about Bishop Oyedepo's son Isaac Oyedepo starting a ministry. The claim is true. Recall that a rumor broke out recently about Isaac leaving the church and the ministry of his father leaving faith. The claim was later debunked by the father, the son and the church. However, recently, news being shared is that Isaac has officially launched his ministry. In attempt to verify this information, Project Fast Check Nigeria visited the social media accounts of Isaac and found one of the videos being shared. A post was made 28 November with the caption, Unveiling the Isaac Oyedepo Evangelistic Ministry. Another post also shows the father, Bishop David Oyedepo, present at the unveiling and also anointing his son. Footages from the event coverage is available on the ministry's YouTube page. Conclusion The claim that Bishop Oedipo's son, Isaac, has started his ministry is true. Last up, the Nigerian government sponsor 1,411 delegates to COP28 in Dubai. The federal government of Nigeria is currently under fire for allegedly sponsoring 1,411 delegates to Dubai for the COP28 climate conference. The claim is false. The large delegation of Nigerians at the COP28, the Convention of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the world's preeminent climate change conference, has attracted lots of attention. Many have queried the spending of huge sum of money to have such delegation. However, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, has debunked the information. He said that the federal government sponsored 422 delegates to the COP28 in Dubai, not 1,411 as speculated. His statements read in parts, Parties to this convention from Nigeria include government officials, representatives from the private sector, civil society, the voluntary sector, state governments, media, multilateral institutions, representatives of marginalized communities, and many others. It is imperative to point out that the overall Nigerian delegation to COP28 comprises government-sponsored, federal and state, and non-government-sponsored participants from private companies, NGOs, CSOs, Media, Academia, ETC. Conclusion The claim that the federal government of Nigeria sponsored 1,411 persons to COP28 in Dubai is false. 
Remember to fact check anything before you share it. Don't engage, don't amplify. Do you have a story? Tag us on all our socials at Wapma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902 547-8072 and we will fast check for you. Join Wabma in debunking fake stories. Share this content with your contacts. My name is Pamela Onyewel.